exclusively for the past week but today is major game time obviously but if you didn't know i have a taylor playlist on my spotify which is always linked in the description but i have a taylor playlist that i made that's the picture i took at the concert i made this it's five hours and 21 minutes of all taylor songs that are not skippable in my car so this is what i've been blasting for a solid seven days Wait. My name is Emily. What's your name? AJ. Can I get a venti ice caramel macchiato with almond milk? So what else can we get for you, AJ? Can I get a bagel toasted with cream cheese, white chocolate almond milk latte, and then can I get the turkey? Hold on. This is my mom's order, so I'm trying to decipher how she said this. <laughs> the Turkey, egg, white sandwich. Okay, and then can I get the turkey, bacon, cheddar, and egg white sandwich? And then that's all. Thank you. Yeah, all right. Why does it always happen to me? It was so embarrassing. Mom, why did you type turkey, bacon like that? That was so, I didn't know if you wanted the bites of the sandwich. It was my room a little bit after breakfast and I still have reputation tour on but I'm now going to start my makeup because it is 10:42. we're hoping to leave by one so we're starting our makeup just finished hair and makeup it can't be brushed out quite yet but the vision is starting to come together now it's time for your outfit so here is my outfit this little tank top from Zara that Mimi got me mama's handmade Coachella hat from last year and I'm gonna try to get batteries before we leave but we'll see if we can get that because it's supposed to light up and then just a black skirt and of course my skims so let's get it on I just put one of my favorite soul products on the bronze glow oil this was one of my key takeaways from this whole trip. But now I'm walking on into the fridge to get my first Solani of the day. And we're going Rocket Pop. We're at the stadium. It's been a minute since I talked, but we have dealt with all the wardrobe, all the hair, all the malfunctions we can, and we're finally heading in. Sam stopped by for a little bit. Samantha Jo, she stopped by for a little bit, but she had VIP, so early access. But it's just about time for general access, and we gotta get some nachos or something yeah something 
It's a merch, 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 merch. Do you guys like my ass? Like, give me a see. Yeah. I don't even know if I'm showing them that my ass. Mm. Cute, right? Okay. We're going. <laughs> Nashville might be the first rain show. That would just be beyond iconic if it was. Like beyond iconic. The mama got us food. We've been highly addicted to sour skittles lately. Yeah. <laughs> Let me tell you about this here. We've been on a kick. in it and the love and nurturing and support that I received from this town. I can't tell you how many feelings I have right now, but you being here, 70,000 strong tonight, <laughs> there's, just, there's just some fun things, you know? There's some, some, I'm not wearing sleeves, but I have some tricks of them. We're gonna go on a grand adventure. We're going to travel back in time through 17 years of music that I was lucky enough to make and you were kind enough to care about. And we're going to do this one era at a time. These songs may have started out being about my life or something I went through or a character I created in my imagination, but my goal is that by the end of the night, these songs will be about your life and the memories that we made in this stadium. I love you so much. Well, I to say, I'll be your host this evening. My name is Taylor.
release those songs from the vault and I give them to you because I think you should have the full story and the full picture of what that album was. Right? And so, um, there was a song that I wrote when I was 22 and, um, it was a song I wrote, like, in the middle of the night and, um, I was really, really, um, feeling I was really afraid of, of the idea of aging and the idea of you guys getting like, sick of me. By the way, thanks for not doing that yet. I really, really appreciate it. You have no idea. Both 22-year-old me and 33-year-old me, thank you for that. Thanks for <laughs> sticking around. And so when I went back and I, you know, re-recorded this song, I really wanted to invite one of my favorite artists to sing on it. And she said yes, you guys. You know what I'm saying? So, um, Phoebe, do you, do you want to come out and sing this again? I 
opened the door so far. So it's been all new songs every time I've done this uh, part of the show. But there's also a different reason why I'm really excited about this part of the set tonight. No. Um, I've been, I've been, I've been planning something for a while. And, um, you, you know how I love to plan things. And you know how I love to surprise you with the things that I've been planning. So it's just something, it's my love language with you, you know? I plot the scheme, I plan, and then, and then I get to tell you about it. So, I think, rather than me, like, speaking about it. I thought I would just show you, so if you would direct your attention to the back big screen that we have. I'm not gonna 
Is it? I don't even know what happened. <laughs> We're still recovering. I definitely I have it. issues right now. But it's okay because Speak Now comes out July 7th. Speak Now July 7th. Square. Also Anna's birthday. Woo! Well, we've not had much to chat after the concert because we've I was not had much to chat. <laughs> don't clean me up for We've not chatted in a while. <laughs> so I decided to pull you for a chat. <laughs> that one got me good. The girls inside us are loving this. <laughs> this you guys <laughs> so I learned many things from the first when I went in Glendale I learned that you have to wear comfortable shoes no matter how cute you want to look you have to wear comfortable shoes and I also learned that your ears do hurt afterwards very much especially for 31 especially if you're a mom but they didn't hurt as bad being in the upper bowl than I w than it did when I was on the ground and I learned to genuinely enjoy every moment. Like it was it was gone it was done so fast. It mm -hmm. felt like 3 minutes. 3 minutes max. And one thing I definitely learned is I would film when she started the song and then I would stop during the bridge cuz I wanted to enjoy the bridge in person and then I had no bridges to watch on video. So I learned to to film the bridges. It's very important. Other than that, it was incredible. It was literally a part of history with Speak Now being announced and our surprise songs were I knew it was gonna be teardrops on my guitar. Did I call yeah, that one? Day one? I knew that it was gonna be teardrops on my guitar. And I was just hoping that it would rain because that would make it so much better. And she literally said, Is it really rain? There's a TikTok, we need to find it but it yeah. she said, Is it really raining in this song right now? Yeah, like <laughs> It just sprinkled like for that song. It was crazy, and then obviously sparks fly. I oh my god, bald. I mean, my ass out. Do you have that video? I'm sure. We need to get that sent to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I also learned that you need the next day to completely crush. Mm -hmm. Completely. I tried so hard to make a day of the next day, and it failed miserably. Like allow your time to rest. When I first went the opening night, you didn't know what was coming, so you did not dare to take a bathroom break because you didn't know what you were going to miss. Definitely look at the set list and see when you want to go. Mom went during Folklore. I think so. I don't remember. It was either Folklore or... They were just like, I wanted three songs in a row that I didn't really super know that I could do. Like, I wanted enough comfort. Like, yeah. And but there was said, absolutely zero, zero, zero line. And I went twice during the concert and there was zero line both times. Everyone sang to go, Darren, all too well. No, because it's no. the only song that you would go and come back with and it still be playing. No. But she, I kept telling Sophia this, she performs the song so differently than how she. I had never even heard the whole thing and recorded. I was like enchanted. Well, when she performs it, she enunciates different parts than when it was recorded. Like, during yeah, the, yeah, yeah, who yeah. was she, it was completely silent, and she just says, who was she? And that's just kind of faded in the actual song, in the actual song, as well as, I was there down the stairs. That is silent, and it's just her. It's not like that in the normal one. It's like, when it's recorded, it's just like, f fades out. It's not like that. It's enunciated so well. So definitely, definitely don't miss the 10-minute version. In Glendale, we were like, oh, we'll just get merch later. It's fine. And then we never ended up getting merch, except for on the second day, we drove just randomly to get it, and there was no line right when it opened. And I just got the t-shirts because everything else was sold out on his last day. So I, on Thursday... Yeah. On Thursday, found out that the truck was open and went and stood in line maybe 30 minutes and got the blue sweatshirt, blue hoodie. It's so gorgeous. When I came on Thursday, I could just park in the parking lot, walk right over to it. It was like the same area, but I tried to come yesterday and I couldn't park in that area because it was an actual show day. So even if you are coming to a show, I recommend coming before any of them start, like on the Thursday or Wednesday before, because... It's less of a line at like 2 o'clock in the afternoon. 
is what I would recommend. Even if you were like coming from out of town, I would just try to go early and do maybe the merch. We saw so many people go into the merch trucks outside, waiting, 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 coming and dropping their merch off back in their car. Yeah. And then going back out. And also inside of the stadium, they don't sell everything at every little pop-up. So you have to go to this specific pop-up that has what you want. Is everything at the truck? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So that would be my tips for you. I tried to make a whole day of yesterday and that crashed and burned very quickly. She came home crying after 30 minutes of being out of the, gaunt, out of <laughs> the garage. Yeah, it was bad. I had, it just, everything was one after the other after the other, including a huge nose blade while I was driving. So that was great. I decided to go home and not speak to anyone for the rest of the day and just watch Real Housewives in New York City. This so, is exactly what I said on our channel. Well, I'm, we <laughs> did one thing yesterday. <laughs> like, what? We try so hard to make it not like the same vlog. But when it's <laughs> just us, like, there's, yeah, so anyway. Hi, <laughs> Tilly. No, I've been crying, y'all. We were trying to figure out, she only cried once during the concert on Friday. And we were trying to figure I didn't out, even know. Yeah, we were trying to figure out which one it was, and I played it, and I was like, I, I think it's this it one, and she lost it again, so uh, she's still recovering. It was, what was it? My tears ricochet. It's just not, it's not a good time for you. Listen to that. <laughs> you start crying again? No, 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 I'm good.